Hi, Mari here from the Center for Family Care. You might be asking yourself why I'm here on your screen. Wasn't this supposed to be an Advent series? Isn't Christmas over? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not at all. In fact, Christmas is just getting started. Let's start with a little history lesson. The early Christian church celebrated Christ's birth, Christmas, and his baptism, Theophany, on the same day, January 6th. But in the 4th century, the church leaders decided that these events, naturally, deserved their own commemorated days. So, they moved the celebration of Christmas to December 25th. And let's see. How many days are in between December 25th and January 6th? Oh, that's right, 12. The famous partridge in a pear tree and all of the extravagant and outrageous gifts that followed were given on the 12 days following Christmas, not before. Who knew? The joy and festivity of Christmas Day does not stop there. So don't take down your tree or your decoration so fast. Today I'm going to give you 12 ideas of how you can celebrate the 12 days of Christmas. Number one, learn the Apolitikion, Kondakion, or the first stanza of the Christmas Katavasia, or all three, and sing them every day together as a family. For audio recordings of each in English, visit here. Number two, Greet each other every morning with the Christmas greeting, Christ is born, glorify him. Number three, make a family gratitude list. Obviously these are weird, hard, and difficult times, and often it doesn't feel like there's much to be grateful for, but there is. Make a point during the 12 days of Christmas to gather together and either write down in a journal three things you're thankful for each day, or just talk about them together. Number four. A lot of the nativity story is centered around the star that led the shepherds and wise men to baby Jesus. So get outside and go stargazing as a family. See if you can find different constellations and talk about what it must have been like to travel without a GPS or a map, only relying on the night sky. Number five. If you're lucky enough to live in an area that's getting a lot of snow, create the nativity scene outside. If there's no snow, get creative. Use sand or clay, paper, whatever you want. Number six, sing Christmas carols together throughout the next days, especially focusing on the biblical ones. Yesterday, we celebrated the feast of St. Stephen, so Good King Wenceslas would be a great one for today. And obviously, you'll have to hit the 12 days of Christmas at least once. Number seven, on New Year's Eve, have the whole family get together to make basilopita, the traditional New Year's sweetbread. Don't forget to put the lucky coin in before you bake it. For more information on this tradition, visit here. Number eight. If you're able, attend New Year's Day liturgy as a family, then come home to cut your basilopita. Read together the story of St. Basil since we celebrate his feast today. Number nine. Theophany is a great time to get your house blessed, so schedule a visit with your parish priest if you can. It's also a great excuse to clean your house from top to bottom. Number 10, there's no fasting during this time, aside from January 5th. So get creative in the kitchen. Have a family cook off and have each family member direct or make different festive dinners each night. Number 11, on Theophany after liturgy, pull out old family videos and or photo albums and look through the pictures of each family member's baptism or chrismation. This is a great time for storytelling and reliving memories as a family. And finally, number 12. I challenge you to come up with your own unique family tradition for the 12 days of Christmas. Something you can do every year together to joyfully celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Christ is born.